The Navy is in the market for a new helicopter to train its pilots. And at Sea Airspace 2018, Jen Judson caught up with three companies looking to build the chopper. What is the Navy looking for and how does your offering uh, match up to those requirements? The key component to naval aviation training is to be able to fly in instruments and in conditions where you don't have a visible horizon and looking outside the aircraft doesn't help you. Um, so they have indicated that that is their key requirement. Our our proposed offering we provided if the if the if the RFP came out today is for we call it the TH-119. Uh, it's a variant of our popular AW-119KX. It's a single engine, full spectrum training aircraft. And by full spectrum training, it means that it's one single configuration. You can do all the flights in that syllabus in that one configuration of aircraft. Well, the Bell 407 GXI is our our offering if that is to come uh, to fruition. But it's a, a great platform as. Uh, what I would argue is the, certainly the best value platform out there in this category. It's a very reliable aircraft, 407. There's like 1,500 aircraft worldwide and have flown over 4.75 million hours. Uh, very reliable, sustainable, uh, maintainable. It's a glass cockpit, just a great overall aircraft that would also be, I think from a, from a programmatic perspective, a lot less risk because it's uh, very much similar to the TH-57 that the Navy currently has, so a transition from a bell-to-bell -bell product would be, a, would be a lower risk, I would think, for the customer. As the largest helicopter manufacturer, uh, we've got a, a large product range of both single-engine and twin-engine platforms that we can provide. Uh, but given the, the requirements that we've evaluated up until now, we think a light twin like our H-135 uh, fits those needs very nicely. The H-135 has an advanced uh, digital cockpit. Our Helionic solution was designed and developed for helicopters. Uh, a twin engine platform, which is similar to what the Navy operates in their fleet today, uh, also provides advantages for training. 